Welcome to the video. I am Ryan from ZenFX, and before we get started, as always, I need to remind you that I am not a licensed financial professional, so anything that we talk about here is for educational purposes only. These are just my opinions on the movements in the market. Remember that Forex does carry a very high degree of risk, so you should always use your best judgment when trading and only use capital that you can afford to lose. All right, that's it for the disclaimer. Let's go ahead and take a look at the charts. What's going on guys? It is Ryan again, and I'm back with another live trading video as well as some updates. So let's go ahead and get started. It uh, I took the day off yesterday as it was Labor Day. Today is September the 3rd, Tuesday. We're in New York session. We've been trading for about an hour. Um, so I want to go ahead and fire up the video, get it started. You know how we do it. I record these live trades. Um, I'm in the chat room right now in our Discord server with my Renko students. They're trading right along with me live, which we do every day except for holidays, of course. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to, uh, you guys know what we do on this channel. I'm going to take trades in front of you. We're going to manage them all the way through. I, I won't make the video too long, and if we need to check back in on other ones later on um, in other videos, we can do that as well. Uh, but for now, we're just going to start looking for some trade setups to start the week out with. Um, we've got AudiCAD here that uh, I did not document this one because it was a trade that we took on Friday uh, off of very strong support levels. This was a very textbook trade. Very simple. All of the students that were watching caught this as well. Uh, this was, again, this is how we do our trades. Very, very simple, low risk. And this one is now playing out, kind of consolidated a little bit here yesterday, did a little bit of a retracement, and then there we see it shot right up. Um, so we're looking at some really nice profit on this one. So, you know, AutoCAD's doing great. This is a risk free trade. And uh, we'll wait for that very, very strong exit signal before we jump out uh, but right now AudiCAD is starting us the starting the week off starting us off very nicely and uh, of course that's just that's how we do it here on the Renko channel uh, we just take very easy trades simple entries simple exits we keep it all simple and that way we can focus on what's important which is the trading now let's start uh, hunting through the pairs and seeing if we can't find some good setups or so good entries to take this week and especially this morning. All right, guys, I'll, uh, I'll update you more when we get something to trade. All right, so we have our first entry of the day. This is Audi Swiss Frank, and uh, I do apologize. I entered this in before uh, I remembered to start the video, but as you can see, we're right here at our entry point. Now, this is uh, a very solid setup as far as allowing us to enter in with very low risk. This is a 20 pip stop loss. That's all. 20 pip stop loss. And basically what I'm saying with this setup is if these taps here, this is actually a long term triple top. We get kind of a, you know, it's definitely a double top. But you see here we get that second that little double tap here on current resistance. So, you know, technically a triple top. But we've got our entry here. And if we go beyond that, this trade setup has become invalidated and we want to be out of the trade. So as you can see, like if we juxtapose the AudiCAD here, we've got 130 pip runner going right now, which is in the it's in the beginning stages of this trade. This is the beginning stages of a swing trade to where I want to go at least to the next golden level up here. Uh, and see where that's going to go. That's going to give us another almost 45 pips. Uh, we could look at closing this out somewhere around 170, 175 pips um, if it hits that level. Um, but that's looking off into the future. Right now, we're just letting this one go. As you can see, almost 130 pips running right now. Whereas if we switch back over to the Audi Swiss Franc, then we have uh, you know 20 pips of risk. So we're still m uh, more or less risk free. You know, I, I hesitate to say that um, we're risking 20 pips right now and we have uh, secured uh, really none on AudiCAD. It's risk free, but we have it set at break even. But as you can see, though, we're, we look to take very small losses 
and we're going to look to take uh, you know a big chunk out of Audi CAD eventually when we get a solid exit signal. But right now, um, Audi Swiss Franc. So we've got we're entered in on that. Again, a lot of profit potential for this with very little risk. So as I told you, we had about um, a 20 pip stop loss, and then from here to here, uh, we've got quite a ways. This is quite a range to be to be dealing with. So if we measure that out, uh, this could be, uh, sorry, I need my glasses here. That's about 160 pips. Okay, 160 pips down to that level. Now, will it go all the way down to that level? No one knows. The market doesn't even know. The market's going to do what the market's going to do. So let's go ahead and uh, we've got our entry. Now we're just going to let the trade do what it's going to do. We're going to just going to let the market move and it's either going to invalidate or it's going to move into profit and either way I'm fine with either. So let's start looking for some other trades and then uh, we'll update more at that time. All right guys, I am back and here's the update on Audi Swiss Franc. So as you can see, this was invalidated. Our setup here is invalidated and we'll go ahead and close that out. I want to show that to you that we do take losses. Every system takes losses. You just have to be able to minimize those losses and have rules in place. Once your trade's invalidated, you close it. You just go on to the next setup. It's very, very simple. Now, as you remember, if we switch back to Audi CAD, we still have 130 pips banked into this trade right now. Okay, so we have a little bit of room to work with. This one, it's invalid, so I'm going to go ahead and close this. This is a 17 pip loss, and that's not a big thing. We expect to take losses, and the whole point is to make sure that they are minimized and that we maximize our profitable trades when we get them, like we have with Audi CAD. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys that, and just to show you that not all system, it doesn't matter what system you're trading. Okay, they will take losses, and of course, no one's going to show you their losses. Um, I asked another trader one time, you know, what about your losing trades? And the answer was, oh, how would I show you losing trades? You know, oh, I've already, already closed. The, you show them by you documenting them. you showing the entry, and then you showing the, the exit. And if you're just getting nothing but winning trades uh, from people, then they're not showing you the downside and, and the losing trades, which have to happen. They are inevitable. They have to happen. Now, I even had a question uh, from another, uh, from a viewer on the last video talking about, uh, and I get this question all the time, you know, what is the accuracy percentage of your trading system? Okay, it's, that's irrelevant. Okay, it's very good. Uh, for me, it's very good. But telling you what my accuracy percentage does you no good whatsoever. Couple reasons, okay? The the win loss percentage for any given system is only the amount of trades that they've monitored under a certain period of time, and you don't know if it's a, a year, a month, or a day. Like I could, <laughs> I could run this system, take four trades. And if they all four one, I could boast that my, my system has a hundred percent win percentage. It's not a big enough, um, it's not a big enough batch of trades for you to be able to make that type of a claim. And I don't make claims like that. Not, not only for that reason, but also because of the fact that every trader is going to trade differently. I trade the exact same system as all the students in my trading group. Yet we all have different win loss percentages because every trader is going to see not only the trades just slightly differently, they're going to uh, exit slightly differently. And I mean, even with the exact same rules, I could be trading with the exact same person next to me, exact same rules, exact same system, exact same charts. And we're still going to have differences in how we manage those trades and how we exit those trades, whether you know you jump out early because you're scared of losing profits, um, whether you don't get in on time because you're too scared to pull the trigger. Everybody's going to have that. So win loss percentage, basically what I'm trying to tell you is meaningless. Okay. That's the big secret. Win loss percentages are a marketing tool and that is all they are. They, they are completely irrelevant because as I've mentioned, there's too many variables to account into. There's the, the market conditions at the time that you were taking those trades, they're not the same market conditions that you're trading right now. Okay. The, the times you trade, 
the pairs you trade, all those variables are going to vary, you know, they're going to be different from trader to trader. So even if let's say hypothetically, I have an 80% win ratio with this specific system. Does that mean that you will have an 80% win ratio? No, it does not. So what's the point of me telling you that I have 80%? Is it just to give you confidence in the fact that the system works and then you'll take trades with more confidence? That doesn't work. That's the same as taking signals from someone. You just have to take my word that these are going to be good trades or that these are good signals. Don't trade like that, okay? Don't be one of those people. Trade based on what you see and based on your own performance, okay? Don't don't take my word for it. Uh, you know, if I even still, every trade again that you're gonna take, it doesn't matter if you're using a, a, a system that has a 95% win ratio, which by the way is ridiculous. Okay, if you had a 95, if I had something that had a 95% win ratio with uh, good risk and money management. Um, then I would, you know, we'd, I'd, I'd already be a billionaire. I would already be as, as rich as Bill Gates because just statistically, all I would have to do is keep taking trades, uh, and which is what we do anyways. But I would just have to do what we're doing now: take trades, uh, and then, you know, let the losers lose and let the winners win. And I, I should be in, in uh, you know, I should be great. But even a winning percentage doesn't tell you, you know, whether or not you're profitable. I know systems that have a 90% win ratio uh, that you lose money because you're holding trades in like a martingale style or you're just like you are, uh, you know, you're holding and praying. You're hodling your trade, okay? Um, where I've seen, I've also seen on the flip side, uh, systems that have a 50% win ratio that are very profitable. And the reason is they have very strict money and risk management, which is key to Forex. Okay, so that's the difference. And then on top of that, you add in that it doesn't matter what your system is, every trade you ever take, including this one right here that we took for Audi Swiss Franc, um, it's a 50 50 uh, thing. It's a coin toss. Okay, it's a 50 50 percent chance that it's either going to win or lose because it's all based on the chaos of the market. And you have to come to terms with that. One, you will never know the outcome of the next trade. And if, if you don't have that ingrained in your soul, if you don't have that tattooed on your trader's heart of hearts, then you are lying to yourself. You'll never be profitable. And if you do, it's only through luck because you have to understand it doesn't matter what you're seeing in the charts, what type of technical analysis, what type of indicators you use. It, you will always have a 50, 50% chance of winning a trade. It's always a coin flip. So we have to ask ourselves, then how do we become profitable in Forex? If it's always just a coin toss, if it's always just randomness, um, then, you know, how do we become profitable? Uh, and how do we avoid like those, those strategies where they, you know, we're a thousand pips into drawdown, but we're holding just in case, you know, it turns around, um, you know, that's how they get those high win percentages. It's by having the structure of a set of rules, not only for entries, but also for trade management and for exits. OK, that way it and I try to tell people this as much as possible. It's not the entry. It's not the entry that's going to make you profitable. Everyone's constantly looking for what is the easiest way to enter. I mean, we have all these indicators. We've got arrows that tell us when to buy and when to sell. We've got alerts. We've got oscillators. We've got moving averages that when they cross over or oh, we take a trade, when we hit a, a specific level of supporter resistance, we take a trade. You know, we got all these indicators trying to tell us where the best possible place to enter into a trade is going to be. And that is not it. That is a, that is a, that is a, that is missed. That is, that is fog. That is you trying to chase the intangible. That, that is a promise of something that will never come. That is a rabbit hole that you will, you will keep falling down for the rest of your trading career until you realize that it is not your entry, okay? It's your trade management and it's your set of rules. You enter into a trade, could be based off of anything arbitrary. And as long as you have good money management and good risk management, then you can make that into a, a profitable strategy. All right. I have a whole exercise on um, 20 coin flips to prove that based on not only the randomness of the coin flips, which is always random, but also the different 
types of results you can get flipping a coin 20 times uh, between taking like a one to one risk to reward ratio or like a three to one risk to reward ratio, which is what we try to do. And the, the results speak for themselves. I might do an entire video on that one day just to show you guys what I mean. But the point is that I'm trying to show you we do take losses and um, I want to show you that because I don't think anybody else will, to be honest with you. So we took that loss on AF and that's really all the trading that we've done for today. I'm done with my trading session. Um, we've got Audi CAD that's running on autopilot right now. I'm just waiting for it to tell me whether or not it's ready for me to stack in a position or for me to exit. And I've got those things on automated alert. So um, I'm going to go do my day and uh, just keep my phone on me. If I get an SMS alert, I'll check the charts and I will uh, update it from there. So anyway, sorry for such a long uh, spiel, uh, but it's very important that I put that out there to you guys. Like I said, I don't think anybody's telling you the truth out there. And that's the whole point of me doing these videos uh, is to kind of open your eyes as traders and, but not at the same time, not to discourage you. Okay. This is a very uh, doable endeavor. You can make money in Forex. You have to just be committed. You have to be willing to put in the work and you have to be psychologically prepared um, to take losses and then also uh, to just accept the fact that the market is chaos, but there's still money to be made in chaos if you can embrace that chaotic nature um, and then uh, then you will save yourself a lot of frustration and a lot of of hair that you're not going to pull out uh, over the years. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm out. Uh, sorry for making this so long and sorry for getting on my soapbox again, but uh, I try and pass these things on to you. That's it for me. I'm done for today. I'll make more videos uh, in the coming weeks. Again, we'll say, well, I'm going to show you wins, losses, uh, you know, scratching out of trades. I'm going to show you all of that from beginning to end as much as possible without making these videos too long. So with that, I'm out. Again, I'm Ryan with ZenFX. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I'll have more videos coming soon, and I will see you guys in the charts. Take care. Thank you once again for sticking around to the end of the video. Please support all the free content that I put out here on YouTube by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, you can find me on all the other social media platforms on Instagram at zen.forex.trading and on Facebook at zen.forex.trading as well. And join us on our new Discord server. The links to all of these will be in the description of this video. All right, that's it for me today. Take care, you guys. I will see you guys in the charts. And as always, let's get those pips. All right, take care, guys.